Hello, my name is Neil Robinson and I'm deaf. I have cerebral palsy. It's a medical condition which I was born with. I was born deaf and with cerebral palsy uh, which affects my legs and my ability to walk. I'd like to share with you how I became a Church of England priest. Well, I never thought that I would become a priest, but God is good. I remember when I was about five or six, my family were always watching a television program, you know the one, Songs of Praise. Well, I was watching it and I told my mother that I'd like to be the same as the minister on the television. And, well, she didn't accept that. She said, what, you? <laughs> Don't be stupid. And she put it down and I forgot all about it as I grew up. Well, about the time that I was living in Kent, I went to an apostolic church. There wasn't a Church of England in the area, so I went to the Free Church. I felt that God was telling me to become a priest. I responded, no, I'm happy the way I am now. I'm satisfied with my life. And I rejected the idea. Then I met my wife, we got married 17 years ago. But, hmm, well, I felt it was God was calling me again, but I wasn't sure. So I went to my minister and, well, he had a bad attitude. I explained to him how I felt called and his attitude was terrible and put me off and I, I just said, no, that's it, that's it, no way, no, absolutely not. So I muddled along, got married, and 2010, I went to Canada to a mission outreach. But the last visa application failed. I was disappointed, God was telling me to go back to England, so I came back here. And this time I settled in Derby. And I carried on and I met a deaf person, a Christian friend, who invited me to his home. And we went past a building, it was a theological college, and as we were driving, I had this sudden vision. Whoa. I was dressed normally, nothing different, but in the mirror I saw myself with a clerical collar. Whoa. That was a shock. And God was saying, go. I carried on and um, the vision disappeared and I told my wife I was I felt God was telling me to become a priest. She said, why not? And that's how it happened that I became ordained in 2016 here in Salisbury Cathedral. That's where I am now. <laughs> wow. So I've been a priest for about six years. And uh, as you can see, I want to ask you, can God use Christian disabled people? And the answer is yes, I'm the evidence. I'm proof that you can. Jesus welcomed everybody. He embraced everybody. You know the children ran to Jesus and the parents wanted their children blessed. And, but the disciples forbade them, sent them away. Jesus was shocked and told them, no, 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 allow them to come because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Whoa. So who are these children? They're you and me. It doesn't matter what our background is. It doesn't matter what our barriers are. It doesn't matter if we're tall or short, or our weight, or whether we're disabled, whether we use a wheelchair, we're blind. It doesn't matter. He welcomes you and me.